What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another unboxing video. In today's video, it's all about G.I. Joe's. We're going to start things off with Duke. Oh yeah, G.I. Joe time. Yo, Joe. Um, so, I actually, if you saw my hunt video, you saw that I actually picked up all four of uh, the G.I. Joes that the store had. Uh, Duke, Scarlet, uh, Roadblock, Destro. And I really wanted to give each one of them a, its own review video because personally, I think they all deserve it. And I just thought, why not start with uh, Duke and... I was on the fence with these figures until I actually saw them in the store. Once I saw them in the store, I was like, you know what? These things actually look pretty cool. And it was a, it was a pretty much a no brainer at that point. And I already have snake eyes. So I wanted the Destro that, that was a no brainer, but I was on the fence when it came to especially Duke. Um, you know, when you look at the art, or the promo photos, you just don't know. I've said this time and time again. You just don't know what it's going to look like until you actually see it in hand. And let me tell you, first and foremost, check this box out. I mean, this thing, the presentation is amazing in this box. But the one thing that I really, truly love the most about the box is right here. This back art is outstanding. I mean, it literally is it's amazing uh, how good this actually looks. And I don't know. I dig it. It's just, it's wicked cool. Uh, box presentation looks great. Colors look great. Uh, we got have some really cool transition effects right here on the box. But, yeah, I sort of don't even want to take them out of the box. I'll be honest with you. It's one of those things to where it's like, because the box and the figure look so good together, it's just, you know, but we're going to take it out of the box. So i tell you what, uh, yeah, let's, let's get it out. I'll at least show you what it looks like in the uh, clamshell and then we'll, uh, we'll flip things around and we'll go from there. I am going to be actually, um, really careful with these boxes. I'm not going to like really rip them up, uh, because to be honest with you, these are really good looking boxes and I do like the, the actual figures. In the boxes so uh but yeah right there in the clamshell color looks good um i mean it, it looks great so i tell you what i'm gonna flip the camera around i'm gonna get this all the parts out of the clamshell so you don't have to hear that noise and we'll take a closer look at uh at duke all right so we got duke out of the box and first and foremost he does come with some uh, actually really cool accessories uh, we'll start here first. This is actually, it looks like, I'm, I'm not for sure, but to me it actually looks like almost like a pair of binoculars maybe, but it's got a peg. So I'm not 100% sure what this actually is yet, but it's uh, it's pretty neat. I dig it, but that looks like a, it does look like some kind of binocular to me, but like I said, there's a little peg right there. Uh, his weapons... I'm going to tell you right now, I am digging these weapons a lot. They, uh, they actually look really, really good. Lots of good detail. The paint color on them looks great. So well done, uh, Hasbro, especially on the pistol. Uh, when we actually come over to his uh, M4, mine's got a little bit of a bend to it, so I'm about to heat it up uh, just to straighten that out. You can see how it's kicked up a little bit. But the detail, it's great on this on this weapon. Uh, I do like the blue. That's a nice touch. It actually mirrors over to the other side. But the the gold color paint with the black actually it looks it looks good. I I dig it a lot. Other than the fact mine has a little upward bend to it, that's the uh, only issue I've got with uh, his main weapon. Very good job on that, Hasbro. Uh, he does come with a backpack. Got a little peg right there. Um, me personally, I think this is a little too greeny green. Um, 
the detail is great with the shovel and the wrinkling. I uh, got the canteen there, which I think that should have been non-green. And I might change that up a little bit, put a little of my, my touch on it. But you know what I'm saying? Like right here, this, I mean, being in the military, you don't ever see a solid green canteen like that. You know, it's silver, black top, and the actual pouch as the canteen goes into yeah that's cool but that's my only couple of gripes with that is the fact that it's too uh too green not an olive drab type color and the fact that the canteens have that just weird everything's green too much green except for the shovel but hey it's still okay now the figure itself once again let me slide these out of the way a little bit so Again, my only real complaint is this green right here and right here and the holster. Now, this green, I'm digging. This color here, um, it's more of a grayish, but it's got a little green tone to it. But this is just a little too limey green, I guess. Uh, but as far as the actual figure itself, I mean, the head sculpt, it looks good. Uh, I... No complaints as far as the head sculpt goes. His bandolore is actually loose. Uh, I do like the fact that it has this little hint of blue right here that goes along with my finger that I was uh, from my painting. <laughs> uh, we do have accents of red on his shoulders. And even down in here, we got some blues that actually correspond really well with his weapon. His belt is actually loose as well. And I'm thinking this is where this pegs in at, right there. So that's a nice little contrast color, which I'm really cool with that. Uh, his holster, it's a little unusual, I think, because it's just here on the thigh like this. There's no strap that goes up, but the actual pistol fits in it like that, which, again, it's just... I, it's, it's okay with me. I'm not, I'm not going to complain too much about that. Uh, articulation wise and the shoulders, uh, we got some good articulation. Does have a shoulder and a bicep swivel as far as his actual arms go. Got a good double bend there. Another thing that I actually like is the, the watch color and this color on the gloves. I think that's a nice touch. Corresponds with his shoulders. But yeah, nothing wrong with that. Head-wise, normal. And also this white t-shirt, that's a nice little touch, but he does have a decent amount of, of head rotation side to side. So... Uh, as far as his abs go, let me move this arm back. He bends back a lot, which that's good. For posing, that's great. Uh, forwards, same thing. Uh, he can almost, I mean, that's, you can't beat that. Uh, he does have a waist pivot and a waist side to side. Hip-wise, I expect it to be really good, which... It is. Uh, after I got my snake eyes, I truly figured most of these Joes would be about the same and have this same kind of articulation. I did notice that the, the gap here, but it actually does pop. You can pop this leg down, which gives you more rotation. So you could do some really cool kick moves and then just push it right back up. Again, on this side, you can pull it down, but the holster actually gets in the way on this side, but not bad. Coming on down to the detail on the legs, looks great. Knee pad coloring, shin guards. Uh, this sort of reminds me of a shore trooper in a way, but the detail is great. Uh, on the clothing, the wrinkling, everything, it just, it, it works. As far as his knees goes, that is a good knee bend right there. Can't beat that. As far as his ankle goes, pretty much a standard uh, ankle pivot. You can pull the toe up a little bit more. The armor here actually does bend, so that's good as well. 
Uh, as far as his backpack right there pegs in, I do like the fact that you don't have to peg it through on the belt. Like you don't have to line a hole up on both of them. You can just boom, peg it in right there and it actually works great. So, but here's what I was talking about with this holster. It's, I don't know, parts of me thinks that this would be neat if you maybe a little bit of hot glue or maybe a little super glue right there just to keep it more in place. I don't know yet. Uh, he does have, have a little wristband right there. Comes with two trigger hands. That's all the hands he comes with. But yeah, this, this is a good looking figure. In hand, it is so much better than I anticipated and well worth it again. Let me pull his arms down. That head sculpt is on point. So, guys, I tell you what, that's um, that's it for Duke. I mean, he's he's a he's a good one. And I'll be honest with you, until I actually saw him, and now that I've actually taken him out of the box, I, I highly recommend him. And you know, for GI Joe fans, um, yeah, it'll fit your collection great. But Tell you what, guys, let's, uh, let's wrap things up. I'll come back and uh, we'll do our final thoughts on Duke from the new G.I. Joe uh, Classified Series. All right. I'm telling you, uh, Duke, right there. Um, it's a good-looking figure. Uh, Hasbro, you did a really good job on this one. Um, it's, it is. It's a good-looking figure. Uh, one of the things, again, I don't have a lot of complaints uh, the, I guess this complaint here with this right here on the holster, how it swivels, uh, parts of me, I wish there was a strap going up to here, but I do sort of understand it because getting the leg in position, it's, it's petty. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, my biggest complaint I think with me is this color of green. Um, I do think I will change that color of green. Um, it's just it's just a little too on the lime colored side for me, um, lack of a better word, cartoonish. But from a military perspective, uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't work. Um, I do like the fact that this uh, I'm gonna call it a binocular uh, pegs in back here. That's another cool touch. I do need to heat up my weapon because you can actually see how it lifts up right there, but. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, I do like the fact of the foregrip handle, which makes it a lot easier for the figures to actually grab the weapons. So, uh, yeah, overall, I'm I'm really happy with this figure. I think this is a great looking figure. I think it's a, I think Hasbro did a great job. I, I personally, after seeing it in the box in person, and now out of box in person. I think it's a solid figure. I think the uh, coloring's great overall, except for, like I said, the pouches and the, that little limey green. Other than that, the colors are on point. And uh, I'm glad I picked him up. I'm glad I picked him up. So, But that's going to be it for this unboxing and review of Duke. Um, really glad I got him. I'm totally happy with him. And uh, let me know in the comments if... Uh, you've actually seen these in your area. Now, uh, if you watched my video, the hunt video, you saw where I grabbed these. It wasn't at a Walmart or a Target. Uh, it was actually at a local comic book store that's in my area. And it actually surprised me when I saw them. I was like, wow, there's GI Joe's here. And, um, but yeah, def definitely let, let me know in the comments if you have seen any of these in your area. And, uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about my thoughts on this lime colored green right here or this really light green. Does it work for you or doesn't it? I'm, I want to know what you guys think, but uh, that's going to be it for this unboxing. Uh, part two of this series, uh, because like I said, I got four figures and I want to do a review on each one of them. But part two is going to be Scarlet right there. Uh, this figure doesn't come with a ton of accessories, but uh, I like the coloring on this a lot. So I can't wait to uh, 
to get it unboxed and show you guys what it looks like. But guys, that's it for this video. If this is your first time to my channel, please make sure and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop the next video. But until the next video, guys, always remember to always refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.